basically, I think one of the hallmarks of St. Louis U is we refuse to lose. Winning the NCAA, as I have said before, was our responsibility. It wasn't something we thought about or gee whizzed about or it was our responsibility. We wanted to continue the legacy of St. Louis University. And consequently, when you won these championships, you really strove to be one of the best so that your school could continue to be the best college soccer team. Well, it's been a wonderful experience. So we're still excited about it as if we were playing here today. Two thousand nine marks the fiftieth anniversary of St. Louis University men's soccer, and with the addition of the women's program, we continue the winning tradition here at St. Louis University in both the A10 Conference and in the NCAA. This exemplary program was built by a soccer-loving community here in St. Louis that has provided some of the greatest players to ever play the game in our country. Congratulations, Billiken soccer family! With your continued support. We look forward to winning another national championship for which we can all celebrate. type of things that uh, he passed on to us, respect for the other team, respect for ourselves, for our own teammates, and uh, we knew what we should do for him, and uh, obviously he was very successful. We, uh, at the time, uh, certainly knew of Harry Keel and his assistant, Val Pelizero. I mean, Harry is such a class act. Uh, he brought such credibility to the program and to our team by his own personal success and experience. But the thing that was uh, really noteworthy about Harry and the fact that he was coming to coach at St. Louis University was this guy played in the 1950 World Cup team. He's got to coach us in college soccer. Um, Julie Foudy uh, was able to come in and kind of kick off our, you know, our program. It was, it was just exciting to be involved in it. I think people in St. Louis embraced it um, because, you know, again, you had this great, you had this men's program. People were really engaged there, and I think so many people um, recognized that, you know, it was fun to finally have the opportunity to provide women that same, you know, that same thing. What I've always done is, uh, is looked at the St. Louis U experience as the ultimate college soccer experience. We, we went out, we won, we celebrated. Uh, but we didn't realize that this was something special until, you know, until later. I can look back at my time here at St. Louis U and fast forward 35 years in the blink of an eye. When you win a national championship, when you're the best at something in the United States, I think you've accomplished something uh, of a real high measure. St. Louis soccer is and the premier university to play for. A 
birthplace of the popularity of the sport in the United States.